and then make them all sound, and then as slowly as you possibly can. Release them. And if they all are silent, you're good. Um, but uh, so, so that, that, that's just, it's really hard to get to that point. So ideally, the, the, only, the only thing, and actually Victoria reminded me of, that, of this, the only thing that is lacking on this, do you, can, can you guys see? Can you, can you see the, the dampers? Come, come close and have a look at how they're, when they come out of the, out of the box, they don't look like that. They, they look really fuzzy and they just kind of look like crazy, you, you, you know, they look crazy. And, and so what, what generally will happen is, if they're not ironed is as those dampers return back to the string, those fuzzies will kind of get in the way and impede it. Actually, I saw on this one, Okay, watch, watch this one right here. Let's see. So when I release this one, do you see how it kind of falls in after? Like if I let it go, oh yeah, and it pops okay. in. Yeah. It pops in after. Yeah. So that's just that's just like little fuzzies that are kind of getting in the way of that uh, that damper totally seeding all the way into the strings. Mm -hmm. So so ideally, what we want is is we want all of them, like we talked about last week, all of them to uh, come off of the strings at the same time, all of them to return to the strings at the same time, and we want where they seat they seat. So I'm sure you all know that you need that and this. Keep in mind that this process, you do it before gluing the damper to the damper head. Yeah. Sometimes you have to do it again because it just needs more ironing and you just unscrew it. Yeah, this is my first ever piano, so I went a little bit out of order. Normally the damper is a little longer, but this is an anomaly, I guess. So, to start, I always just open this up a little bit and then go from the side like that for probably five to ten seconds. Probably about that much time. And then when it's still hot, you clamp down on one side all the way to the end and then you apply a good amount of pressure on both sides and then what I do is then I slowly start moving up when the first time you go all the way to the bottom as far down as it will let you go and then you slowly start moving up and applying more and more pressure as you go. And then when, when you get to the very top like that, I always just go as hard as I can. Because often there isn't very much room between the strings. And then once you get it to that point, you would Heat it up again, just on the one side. And then just try and flatten it by rubbing down like that. Yeah, because sometimes when you press it too hard, but you don't iron on the sides, it'll have like this really weird look where it's fat and then it has these two beards just sticking out of it. Mm -hmm. And we're trying to avoid the beards. <laughs> yeah. A little bit more. Also, before ironing, the first step is to grab a, a brand new, um, how do 
these called? Blades, razor blades. And you just pass it like in between the the wedges to get to get all of the fuzzies out. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't even done that. That's a good point. <laughs> So then you just straighten it out like that. So you're just making the whole thing a little bit longer, but you want it to be the very tips of the felt to be pretty thin on both sides. So you can press pretty hard on the top. Um, and scissors. Then once you get to this point, you think it's pretty good looking as in straight on the sides and skinny. You would cut because when this impacts the string, it'll go almost to the end of the middle in there. And you want it to be, you don't want the, the beard, which is the, the beard is the extended part, right? Yeah, so we have the strings. These are the wedges, like Brigham said. And when it's like too far in there, that these are the beards. Right. And you want it like it can go a little bit overboard, but the sweet spot is just right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I can visualize about how long I need it. I can't really describe it, so I'll just cut this and then show you. So, cut it down to about that length, that distance from the very bottom of the middle. And once you have it like that, you would just reinstall and then try and make all the other ones standard to this length and, and as smooth on the outside as possible and skinny from the, the top of the beard.